I'm going to give it just a minute. See if anybody comes on. See who comes on. Hopefully somebody will come on. There we go. We got at least one person. Let me uh, turn on chat. I need a place to put my mouse in my little setup here. So I do have chat where I can see what's going on. I'll just wait just one minute. So what uh, what I'll say here is I'm continually checking what's going on with Microsoft Launcher. Uh, I've used Microsoft Launcher since Arrow, and that's a long time ago. Actually, I used it when it was in two or three parts. You had a lock screen version. You had a lock screen app. You had the Launcher app. I swear I want to think there was one more app. I, I can't remember, but uh, see, there's about three people on. So anyway, I continually check Launcher. Uh, Launchers, what's on Microsoft Launchers, what's on every one of my devices, uh, all my Samsungs, whenever I had uh, Motorola's and uh, HTC and I think of the other Android devices I've, I've had. I'm drawing blank. Oh, yeah. Um, uh, Huawei. Um, and maybe maybe some others. I can't think right now. Uh, I've always used Microsoft Launcher ever since it's come out because obviously way back in the day, uh, it was pretty boring on an Android. And so Launcher really brought a new fresh look to things. And I just kind of stuck with it because it's always worked and it's had all the features I want. Now, those of us on uh, Microsoft Duos, we and if we're familiar with Launcher, we know that we're missing a lot of things. and. Quite honestly, for what we can see, and even through use, there's nothing happening. Every time there's a beta drop, it's not for Duo. It's to maybe make Launcher compatible or an issue that was found, excuse me, say on Android 9, as an example. I know that was one of the issues. Um, maybe uh, Android... Uh, nine on this particular device they do they do go through and try to optimize code for performance but that's for all devices and not for uh, surface duos in general just for all devices so we kind of really are in the background the only features that we have is the ability to launch two apps um, really that's you know uh, maybe um, built in into the duo features probably feed has to feed into the launcher app if you tell it which screen right or left but it's it's really limited as to what we have uh, i do want to share that about a year ago i um i was playing around with computer launcher and i still play around with that launcher to this day i uh, and i sent messages to the launcher team that uh, you know there's some things i'd like to see and uh, ultimately it, it it rose to a point of send me a video so i did a video of of computer launcher which is a windows 10 based launcher where you have a start menu and you're all apps and currently i'm using a computer launcher too or at least i play with it but uh, that's another story and i'm trying to trying to see if I can get one to be stable on uh, the Microsoft Duo. But in all this, I take a look and see what's going on with Launcher. And I found in the drop from yesterday uh, this. So I'm going to turn on this uh, screen share here. And you'll see some football in the background. But... Uh, Hopefully you can read this. Uh, what this says is that what's new, and the very first thing that's what's new is transfer Microsoft Teams meeting through the time widget for Surface Duo. Now there's also something for uh, privacy requirements in Italy, and uh, then they've 
any any bugs, et cetera. So that's normally all we see is, you know, fixing known bugs, performance improvements. So I I thought I kind of understood what this uh, particular uh, item is. And I tried to set it up. And I tried to set it up just through what I thought we were talking about. I didn't see anything. So I did a little bit of searching. And uh, I'm going to share another screen here. And I'm going to do a proper video of how to. But let me go to my Microsoft Edge tab. And Microsoft does have a how to. Well, they, as they tell you step by step of how to set this up. And what you're supposed to do is, if you can see in this graphic here, you've got your uh, time widget. Here they've got the time and uh, weather widget. And so they go through and tell you to make certain you have certain versions of uh, the launcher installed. You do need to have a work profile, they say here. So in your launcher, in Microsoft Launcher, and I'll, I'll jump onto that here in just a second. Um, you've got to have a work profile set up. You don't have to download a launcher version for that. Your, your launcher version, your launcher should have that. I'm not aware of any that do not have the ability to have both a personal profile and a work profile, work slash school profile. And what will happen once you get that set up, if you are in a Teams meeting on your PC, so you've scheduled a meeting and you're in a Teams meeting on your PC, you're supposed to have a banner show up. As they show here, they show the banner underneath the time widget to allow you to transfer. Now, and that's the transfer to the Duo. You can do this within the Microsoft Teams app. So I'm not certain what the advantage is here. I did go through and let me minimize this. Let me come back to here. Let me. Turn that share off. I see I've already lost one person, so must not have been of interest. Um, I'm going to share another thing here for you. Come on. Let's see if I can share my. Never tried this. I don't, it's not showing my phone link app. So apparently I cannot share, whoops, because I'm looking in the wrong place. Here we go. So again, I don't know if you can see this. You may see a, a ton of, um, I just went real deep. I better turn that off. What you need to do is you need to have on a home screen a time widget. Now, I tested this. I, I went over on my notebook. I set up a Teams meeting, and then I joined that Teams meeting. So I was active in the meeting, although I didn't have anybody in the meeting with me. Uh, but still, I was active, and I went over to my duo, and I never got the banner. Now, the, the Microsoft guide says that it may take a little while. I waited 18 minutes, I think it was, something like that. I did check the Teams app, and the Teams app had up at the top, transfer. So I could have transferred inside the Teams app to that to the Duo, but it never showed up on the time widget. Again, I don't know why 
I would want this. Um, maybe having a Teams widget on your home screen and doing it via the widget. But I mean, honestly, if you're going to transfer to your uh, Duo, you're going to open up Teams. The key thing here, and it did, I did not get it to work, so I have posted to the launcher group about uh, what I've done and see what's going on, maybe what I've done wrong. Uh, once I understand it and I get it working, I will have a how-to video on how to set it up, even if I don't find it to be useful at all. Um, what is good here is that the launcher team has done something specific for Surface Duos. Now, it seems to be a minor thing, but they've done something because they haven't been doing minor things. We've been kind of ignored. I did go in and check all the settings in Launcher to see have they expanded some things because I want the app drawer to be deep like it is on an Android device, so you can have multiple rows. I have three rows. I have six columns by three rows set up in on my uh, Samsung device so that I can clear off things off of my home screen. Uh, I like to have my home screen clean. And the only things on my home screen is the um, clock widget. And I use a little analog clock widget. And that's it. Um, I did, well, that's, excuse me, I did add the Bing search bar so that I could quickly scan QR codes. But it does not, it's, it's kind of transparent and it doesn't take up and uh, block my background so I can see my background. I do have other screens I can I can swipe off of the home screen, if, if which is where I have a lot of my normal use apps. If launcher but i had this app drawer depth ability like we have on regular android devices then i'll move a lot of that stuff down in it because it's quick and actually on my android on my samsung my my app drawer is hidden so you can't even see it you have to do a gesture on the screen to make the app drawer uh, pop up so that you can access it again i'm just trying to make my device you know nice and clean and just like your hidden uh, taskbar in Windows 11, it's doing basically the same thing. Now, on my Samsung device, I have to tap and then swipe up. So it's a quick tap and swipe up, and my app drawer appears. Uh, that's the other thing about Launcher on Android is we can control our gestures. So people that don't like that swipe uh, down gesture on the screen that brings up the search, uh, you can do away from you, you can do away with that or change its gesture. Uh, there's so many things you can do that we need. So really, I guess that's it. If anybody got any questions, um, I could take a minute to talk about something else as well. I just wanted to. Really, it was exciting to see that we've got something. It's, you know, you almost feel like a, a dog in a pen that doesn't get fed much. And now, you know, they break a milk bone into 100 pieces and they give you over one hundredth of a milk bone and throw it in. It's kind of what it feels like, but at least we got a hundredth of a milk bone thrown at us. This is probably not going to be beneficial to non-business users uh, this is you, know, you don't use microsoft teams and this feature is not going to be useful even if it is a useful feature i do use microsoft teams so it's a useful feature for me my device is a business device up and down left and right so uh, things like this are what i really want to see or you know optimization of the of the use of the device. So uh, maybe that means uh, we might start seeing some OneNote stuff, more OneNote stuff. I'm, that's where I'm really hopeful that we're gonna see some changes. The group that Microsoft has assembled to manage Android and bring all Android things under one management, um, 
is hopefully driving what we just saw. Uh, I will I will also say when I sent off that video to the launcher team to show them how computer launcher worked, they responded back to me and they said we really like the idea. Uh, we just need resources, and what that means is they Microsoft is not allowing them their management in. Um, the Microsoft launcher team, they're not being allowed by whomever to put a lot of effort into major changes in launcher on the UI. And if we really look at launcher, we're not seeing changes on any devices. So if you got a Samsung device, you're not seeing changes, um, which I'm a little disappointed in. They really haven't a adopted Android 12 in uh, Microsoft Launcher and here 13's coming out and you know 14's going into beta soon or if it's not already in beta um, that's kind of a, a little bit disappointing that Launcher has not kept up even on other devices so I don't know why that is they used to be releasing updates left and right but i see that another person has dropped off so maybe it's time i drop off i don't see any comments uh thanks for watching i will put a video out on how to do this and i'm gonna probably come back live i don't know if it's gonna be today tomorrow or monday to talk about android 12l bugs again okay thank you